Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful lake scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to go into this post you see. All right, this woman, Wo Vicky. Okay, she's a, a influencer, I guess you can call her. And a few uh, years ago, she she became popular or famous, you know, off of pretending, so quote unquote, pretending she was black. All right, and she's held to that. Okay, she never changed it up. She never said, "Oh no, I was just playing." No, she always, you know, maintained the fact that she black. Right. Um. Now, all of us have grown up around individuals that look like so-called white people or another nation, but they act black. And nine times out of nine times out of ten. That individual is an Israelite, okay? I believe, well, Vicky is an Israelite or a Jake, a Jake or Israelite, okay? She's from the seed of Jacob, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what her appearance, but her spirit, all right? I'm going to prove that through the scriptures, but something she said here proves that she's a Jake more than, you know, yeah, your yeah, average Jake nowadays. It says, she says, painting your nails as a man is weird, okay? And this is what else she had to say about it. It says, any dude that paint their nails is G-A-Y. I would never talk to a guy that paint their nails. Painting your nails black as a man is weird and not cute. I think you're G-A-Y. Okay. And this is the woman, whoa, Vicky, right here. All right. Now, she kind of fa uh, favors, you know, a Latin woman, one of the Latin tribes or, you know, a Jake. Okay. But not only does she favor one a little bit, because, you know, uh, uh, you know, a simple a, a simple nigga would say, oh, no, she white. She white because of her skin complexion or her hair. But but what about her spirit? All right. And she said she said a lot of things. She's very religious. All right. One time she had a uh, Yahawa in her bio on Instagram. She actually had the name Yahawa in her bio. OK, so she, you know, she 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 believes in a higher power. She's very spiritual, you know, when it comes to you know, seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, and, and, and she know a few things, you know, and she's exposed a lot. too. I've done the videos on her before, too, about exposing them Hollywood parties and stuff. So she knows, you know, a lot. And her spirit is speaking up. Let's grab a few scriptures. Just proving that point real quick, though, man. All right. Um, it says uh, this is um, this is uh, John chapter seven, verse. Let me see. It, it moved. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Oh, here we go. John chapter 7 verse 24 it says judge not according to appearance to the appearance but judge righteous judgment so most people they only see you know base level they only see surface level they only see what, what the eyes can see sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you especially when it comes to Israel we were scattered all over the world all right and the Israelite man can put his seed in any woman any nation of woman and that Israelite come out you know as a it may come out you know to look like that nation of people but it's still the Israelite by the seed, by the bloodline. OK, and we know that because the spirit bears witness. OK, you know, you, 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 you know, when Jake, you know, it's like almost like Jake is uh, telepathic a little bit. When you see another Jake, you know, and, and, and or if you're in the room with a you, if you and one another Jake in a room with a bunch of Edomites, y'all can look at each other, communicate with each other just by looking at each other. OK, and this woman, well, well, well Vicky, she hanging around a bunch of Jake's, you know, she's always around Jake's. Um, she act like Jake. OK, so you can't judge according to appearance just because somebody may look like an Edomite don't mean they're an Edomite. So people come up to your camp. You can't just a hey, oh, 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 you know, you got pale skin. So you 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 are Edomite. No, that's not how it works. OK, you got to try the spirit by the spirit. All right. It says judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Twenty four in the NLT says look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. So you got to look beneath the surface. So you can judge correctly, okay? Judging properly, man. Not judging according to your emotions or, or you know, the outer appearance of the way somebody may look. Judge correctly, all right? It says, Romans chapter 8, verse 16, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, okay? So the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit, so our spirit bear witness together, man, Okay? When you see a Jake, you know it's a Jake because y'all can, like I said, y'all yeah, can communicate just with looks. You know, it's like y'all can read each other's thoughts. Y'all know, you know. Well, same thing with Will, Will Vicky. 
And when she said this about, you know, the wearing the paint and nails, that, that's, that, that's absolutely right. You know, if you're doing that shit, that's off, bro. That, 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 and that's against our, our, our customs. Let's grab this real quick. Um, One second. Let me see. Uh, I don't know why it always does this. So like it gives me a hard time when I'm using the, um, what's that, Deuteronomy? Is that Deuteronomy? Let me see. Bear with me one second. Okay. Because we in a time where, um, here we go right here. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. A woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto Yahweh thy power. Right, so for a man to put on, you know, the, the nail polish, the nail polish is for women. And you got all these, um, you know, like Dwayne Wade, you know, and his, you know, abomination of a child. You know, they're coming out with a nail polish line. If they're not, they already did. This is wickedness, man. Nail polish is for women, not for men. Men aren't supposed to put paint in their nails, and they're and they're promoting that, in uh, you know, the um, in the industry now. Okay, yeah, painting your, your your nails, and this is fly, and this is cool, and this is how you know, you know, this is the way to do it. You know, this is you know the new style where grown ass men are painting their nails. You know how weird you got to be to sit up there and get your nails painted. And, and, and you know, it was one thing people used to get their nails painted clear. Which, which I never really was even into that, you know, get your nails painted clear, you know, to they say it's supposed to be healthy for your nails or whatever. But getting your nails painted with color, that's completely like sus. All right. That's sus as hell, man. Whether it's black, whether it's pink, whether it's yellow, whether it's blue. You had Drake doing this. You have all these rappers doing this because they're being pushed and promoted to, to push the lifestyle that's, that's against the Bible. The Lord said what? The woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman ain't supposed to walk around here, you know, dressing like men, you know, wearing things that men wear, which we're really, really pants. Woman ain't supposed to be wearing pants. You're supposed to have a dress on, you know. Pants weren't created for him. That's why there's a zipper in the front. Because a man unzips his pants and he can relieve himself with his pants alone. For a woman to use the bathroom, she got to come out of those pants. So you, you, that wasn't set up for you. A woman, a woman never wore pants until, you know, the, the, you know, the woman's rights movement or whatever. Um, and they pushed, you know, the white woman pushed that, 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 uh, that demonic spirit where the woman wears pants. Now, now it's a thing. Who wears the pants in the house? Okay. Scriptures also say the woman shall compass a man. So the, the, the woman is compassing a man and she's wearing the pants in the house now. <laughs> okay. That shit is off, bro. Okay. But it says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now, 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 okay. That was what? 50, 60 years ago. Now they're making it okay for men to wear uh to wear dresses that's the new thing men wearing dresses and skirts you can look up a uh, go on google images and type in um celebrities wearing dresses male celebrities wearing dresses or skirts you're going to see a plethora of niggas fair uh for 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 for, for rail, uh diddy gear uh <laughs> uh kanye okay you name them all of them have been in a dress one way at one, one time or another you got a lot of these basketball players, you know, they be walking out to the game, you know, or to the locker room and they walk into the locker room and they got on a skirt, you know, and that's not by coincidence. Oh, you had most deaf recently that was wearing a skirt. That's not by coincidence. That's, that, that, that's not a fashion statement. That's them being promoted or, or paid to push a particular agenda. And these agendas, if you're paying attention, they're against the ways of the Bible. They're against the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah All right. And well, Vicky, she's, you know, she. She's very uh, vocal about certain things, you know. She's very vocal about certain things that, you know, you, Jake, should be vocal about, man. She said how they tried to get her to go to a Hollywood party and, and to enter into a party, you had to give them blood. You had to give them a blood sample or some crazy shit. And like, she was like, no, nah, I ain't going. She ain't do that. But, you know, Edom might, oh, yeah, whatever, cool. You know, and your average Jake nowadays, hey, man, we got to do what we got to do. So you got to have some integrity and, you know, uh, uh, a spirit about you where you're not going to fall for this madness, man. Okay, you're not going to be out here going, going, going with the motions, following the crowd. Scripture says, falling out of multitude to do evil. Now, she kept saying, G-A-Y here, let's go into how the Lord feels about that. Because that's another thing. Okay. Um, what's that? Leviticus. Nope, nope, nope. 28. Shalakia. So Oh, so if Arizona 20, I'm, I'm tripping. Let me add it right here. 
It says Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. So for a man to lie with a man like he lie with a woman. That's abomination. That's G-A-Y. Leviticus 20 verse, thir verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. That their blood shall be upon them. So the Lord is against being, you know, a happy person. Okay. <laughs> or unhappy person. The Lord is against that, man. Okay. Because you got spirits on you if you're living like that. So when the Lord to told us about, you know, coming back to him in truth and sincerity and serving him. You know, you can't be following the ways of these nations, man. Following, the, you know, the, the, the what everybody else doing in this world. Because they're against you. You see? But um, there's just the fact that. You know, what Vicky said, that shows you that, you know, hey, man. And uh, I know a simple Israelite going to try to pull her, her dad up, which I don't know who her dad I don't know who her dad, her dad look like. I ain't worried about that because her dad can look like an Edomite. But his spirit can go back to a Jake, you know. If, 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 if a Jake man got with a, a, a so-called white woman, you know, and they had a son, and that son got with another white woman, and that son had got with another white woman, that, you know, eventually, they all going to look like Edomites, but the spirit is still Jake, man. Okay, the spirit is still an Israelite. So, can't be simple in these last days. Pay attention. Hey, you're going to have people that's going to be getting delivered and saved. That's going to look like straight heathens. But in their spirit, they are Israelites. Shalom, Kamashirallah, Ababa Ball.